While some think AI is going to take over the world, others believe it could be the very thing to save it. We need to produce 50% more food in the next 10 years to feed the growing population. However, we need to do this while using less electricity, less water and less land. The farming industry is also running out of human labour. We have 50% less farmers now than we did 10 years ago. Research is showing us time and time again that as life becomes easier, less people want outside manual work. All these reasons and more are why I believe that AI and robotics is critical. So, without further ado, here are the seven top AI and ag tech that I believe are going to change our world. Here we go. Number seven is drone seed. These drones are linked to an AI system which intelligently scan the land to find the most strategic places to plant for maximum and continual growth. The system uses seeds in an eggshell covered in fertilizer. Once penetrating the ground, it has a 90 plus percent chance of growing. The idea was taken from nature. How a bird would eat fruit and poop out the seed covered in their natural fertilizer. This allows it to have the best chance for growth and for the seed to take root. Drone Seed can dispatch up to six drones at once and they can do the work of up to 25 people. Not only are they more efficient, they can work 24 seven and get to very remote areas. Once scanned in the area and planting, they come back later to see the growth and measure it according to previous plant experiments. From here, the AI figures out the next best step. Years from now, I believe they will be 100% efficient. Number six is Sea and Spray. Once seeds are planted, they need protection from weeds and bugs as they will try to take them out. The less weeds means the more nutrients for the surrounding produce, meaning farmers are able to produce more with less land, which is essential for a growing population. John Deere's Sea and Spray devices use advanced AI technology to not only target weeds, but also spray them accordingly. They can reduce weeds by up to 50% in one spray and use up to 95% less weed killer than traditional methods, making it far greener for the planet. John Deere believes in a couple of years worth of training, as the AI starts to progress, it will be nearly 90% effective by 2025. Australia has also come up with their own similar but smaller version called the Ripper, which I'll link down below. Number five is soil health. So you planted the seed and now you've protected it from the bugs and germs amongst many others. Now is the time to maximise the soil health and this is where the yield comes in. They've created a series of sensors that are placed on a pole-like structure and put into the field. These sensors measure anything from wind, air, temperature, soil health, humidity, water and a bunch of other factors to give the farmer as much actionable information as possible. With this information, they can know whether or not one field needs more water or fertilizer, or whether or not we should back off, or whether or not we should bring the yield in closer and dispatch more produce more immediately. The yield is hooked up into a system called Microsoft Artificial Intelligence, which means it can track previous returns according to the farmer's previous interventions and give better advice every single interaction. These sensors are going to help maximize farms and bring them into the 21st century increasing the yield and the cash flow of your everyday farmer. Number four is vertical farming. What if instead of growing plants outside, we started growing them inside? Well, seems though we don't have enough land for future generations to create the yield we need to, we're going to have to go inside at some point. And what better place than inside and vertically up? Everything in these farms is measured and the growers look more like scientists than farmers. Because the area is so closely controlled, AI can now measure the effects of soil, light, oxygen and around 20 other factors in the growth potential and its effect in the lifespan of these plants. The learning from AI have already increased it by up to 10 times but not only that, they're also creating healthier fruits and vegetables. In some cases 40% more vitamins are found in food that is produced in vertical farms or controlled environments. We've actually done another video on vertical farming and I'll link that down below. Number three is harvesting. So the seeds have been planted, the weeds have been dealt with, and the soil is now maximized for maximum production. Now is the time to harvest our produce. Some harvests are all year round, while others are only a month, and in some cases are only a couple of days. When some produce needs to be picked up, it needs to be picked up all at the same time. It needs to be picked, packed, and put into controlled storerooms so we can have it all year round. Now, we need a lot of work in a very short amount of time, and this is where AI pickers really come into play. 
AI harvesting can quickly identify the best fruit that needs to be picked right now. From there, it's gonna reach out via maybe a robotic arm, hand, suction cap, or even some vacuums. I actually saw even drones that can go around and pick them straight off the tree like little birds. In an age when we have less human labor than ever before, these machines may be our solution. They can run 24 seven and in a lot of cases cause far less damage to produce than many human pickers. AI very much might be the only solution we have. Number two is storage optimization. Once picked from harvest, over 99% of all produce goes into some form of storage before entering the supermarket or the end customer. This is where most of the waste tends to happen. In fact, nearly 45% of all fresh produce is lost or wasted due to bad storage route conditions or bad handling. This creates a larger carbon footprint than the entire global transport industry. Post Harvest has created sensors which link to an AI system and can actually measure the health of fruit and produce. The system can predict up to nine months in advance when produce will ripen, allowing cool room operators to send out the produce on time, ideally saving billions. The AI system can also control the conditions with inside the cool room, allowing for the lowering or increase of air temperature, oxygen, ethylene levels, and many other factors to ensure the produce is optimal and ready to be shipped out in its healthiest rate at any given time. This system has been proven to reduce waste from 45% right down to 5% and is continually improving. The information and learnings we're getting from these microsensors will allow us to store more effectively in the future in both commercial and transport and even your home fridge. Number one is smart fridges. The last area produce ends up is people's homes. Studies have shown us that nearly 44% of all produce goes to waste on that very last year. This is where I believe smart fridges will come into play. Companies like Samsung have already invented fridges that have individual chambers that allow fruit and vegetables to last longer. However, I believe they're gonna get far smarter in the short future. Units like the ones Post Harvest use in commercial containers, I believe will be used in home fridges in the very short future. This will allow customers to simply place their food in the fridge and the fridge will know exactly what it is, what ripeness levels it needs to be and whether or not it needs less oxygen, more oxygen, more sunlight, more or less ethylene to ensure that it's at its best state at all times. This would mean you could simply tell your fridge, I'm going away for two weeks and the smart fridge would scan what fruits and vegetables you have and put them into a state that creates and ensures longevity. It also mean that you might say that I have carrots and it would show up on the smart screen exactly how you should store them for maximum longevity as well. AI is going to help us maximize seed planting, growing, picking, packing, storing to the best of its ability. But it's also for up to us as humans to learn how to buy, handle and store our produce as responsible as possible. For more information and free courses around food sustainability, check us out at postharvest.com. And if you like this video, please give us a like. It helps more sustainable earth videos like this get shared to more people. Plus, it just makes me feel good. So until next time, thanks so much for your attention and have an awesome rest of the day or night, depending on where the planet you are. Thanks again, bye.